Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I found another bug at work, and so I guess this will be the beginning of episode five of Bugs from Work. Now, this is some sort of beetle. It's It has a lot of uh, kind of uh, reflective green to it, and maybe some oranges. It almost looks like a June bug. People from around here, Tennessee area, have definitely seen a June bug, but it's smaller than a June bug. And uh, this one is very lethargic. I think it's probably heading towards the end of its days. It was just extra slow moving along, uh, kind of on the front porch at work. And I snagged it up and said, well, I will take it home and make a photograph of it. And because it has a lot of um, reflective, shiny areas, I am trying a different diffuser. I've been using this diffuser, which is kind of a bought it on Amazon, but it's real thin easy to put on and take off of the lens, easy to store. And also um, from Australia, I bought, uh, and I bought it a while back, and I don't know why I haven't really even tried it yet until today. I bought this diffuser, which is made by a company called Crafty Bells. And uh, anyway, it is a little thicker, so it should diffuse the light a little more, and I'm hoping that'll be better for this um, shiny bug. So I'm going to release it in the box. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with it running off because it is the most lethargic bug we've ever attempted to photograph. It's definitely still moving, but not much. All right, I've got him at kind of a three quarters angle in the center of the box. So this should be a piece of cake. I'm going to turn on the modeling light so I can see a little better. I don't have the extension tubes on today. I'm shooting, uh, I was at 200 ISO, I just stopped it down to 100 ISO, F11, 1 160th, and one quarter power on the flash. Yeah, this, uh, this is definitely, uh, this diffuser is definitely better. I think I may be switching. Now the Crafty Bells diffuser, it has, uh, and a lot of extra parts, but I think I'll just use this portion of it. Uh, it's Velcro. It has a uh, an elastic strap, so you can change the size of it. But it's uh, this is working pretty good. Let's get some more. I wish that would stay on. Let's get some more pictures of this little guy. Oh, he is moving. He is moving. He's come back to us. And he is wandering out of the shot. I've been so spoiled by you. Yeah, he's moving around. Look at him. Welcome back. Have you been sleeping? Well, this green bug, beetle or whatever it is, has gone from, I think it's dead, to, hey, look, it flew. So I guess it's okay, still very lethargic, and I managed to find it when it flew, and I'm gonna to try to get some pictures of it when it looks more lifelike than when it was just sitting there all sprawled out. So back to work. We quickly learned that this is a Japanese beetle, which is an invasive species here in the United States, but it sure is beautiful. It does look similar to a June bug, but it's a good bit smaller. And the June bug doesn't have all that cool looking fur on its lower areas. And as you can see in these first few photos, it was just kind of sitting there, didn't even have uh, weight on its legs. And later during the photo shoot on two occasions, it flew off. So uh, I think it was playing possum, which is kind of a theme in this particular video. The third uh, insect in this video played possum quite a bit while we were making its photographs. And it is even more beautiful than this Japanese beetle. Here it is, uh, the Japanese beetle on Heather's finger. And this next photograph is one that I've shared on social media. This is the Japanese beetle on my fingertip. In this shot at 16 by 9 on social media, I shared it in 4 by 5 format. There he is, about to... Okay. Oh, there he went. Yeah. Well, he flew twice in the studio. Both times he flew kind of towards the studio lights. And then I, I captured him the first time was really hard because he landed way back behind this huge speaker. And the second time 
he landed on top of the lens cabinet so it was easier to capture and i said let's take him outside and i came out here and before heather could get the camera on he flew away but anyway we we still don't know what it is uh heather thinks it's a june bug but we may have already told you what we decided he is in the video so bug one this bug is huge i don't know what kind of bug it is but it's got big pincers that go this way in its mouth and it is i don't know if you saw episode four where there was a um, eastern eyed click beetle but this bug is probably as big as that and um so i won't be i won't be using the extension tubes oh and i don't have my i don't i have to go get my um your crafty bells yeah i have to get my crafty bells diffuser all right here's my crafty bells diffuser and in between the last bug uh which gosh what was the last bug oh it was a it was a japanese beetle that you just saw and this bug i've uh it's several days have passed i've gotten a haircut and I did an entire video where I used this uh, in some flowers and I called that video best bug video ever or best macro day ever, something like that. Anyway, so the beginning of this video was the first time I ever used this and now I've used it a lot. And we're going to try it out on this giant bug, which uh, has been described by the lady holding the camera as scary. And I don't think I disagree. Oh, and he is upside down and quite active. He's quite frightening. So while he's upside down, let's get the uh, exposure right. All right, little guy, I'm gonna help you turn over now. There you are, you are upright. And what an awesome specimen you are. Now come this way. Come this way, Mr. Austin, awesome specimen. Look at the antennae. Okay, let's turn. Don't bite me with those enormous pincers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yep. Go back. Go back. Oh, now I've upside downed you again. Sorry about that. This fellow would not participate in the photo shoot, so I had to get pictures wherever I could, including at the edge of the box and on the back of the box. And we think this is a black longicorn beetle, which I could be pronouncing wrong and I could have the species wrong. Here's another shot where it's up in the corner of the box. And eventually I was able to get a few shots of it kind of in the center of the box, which is where I like to make my photographs of these insects. And it's neat that you can see its compound eyes. They're kind of behind its antenna. And after I let it go, and you'll see this in the next clip, it kind of climbed up on its container. So I thought that was funny. And then you won't see this part in the next clip. Finally, it started walking along on the railing of our back porch and I made a photograph of it there as well. Heather does not like this bug, so we got at least one shot of it, and it's time to get this thing gone. Goodbye. Oh, now you won't leave. Goodbye, Mr. Bug. Oh. I have to, have to get him right side up so he can proceed to... He, he's really an upside-down bug. He was upside-down quite a bit in the container. There you go, take off. <laughs> what is you? Okay. Bye. Bye, Mr. Bug. Well, another day, another bug. Today I found this beautiful leopard moth, giant leopard moth. So I'm gonna to try to make photos of it Unfortunately, I think this beautiful moth that I found at work has passed away. It must have been nearly passed away when I found it. I mean, I was able to just, it was on the ground. And when I caught it, I just put this on the ground in front of it and kind of eased it into the container. Uh, I think I photographed a moth a couple of years ago that was this same way but this thing is so beautiful 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures of it. Um, the spots on it with the naked eye appear to be either very dark brown or black, but when I photograph them, there's some some blue, um, uh, what's the word? Yes. Thank you. Some iridescent blue color. Anyway, so I'm going to make some photos of it and, um, just be sad that it is no longer with us and, uh, let you see how beautiful it is. Well, the beautiful bug may be playing possum on it because he's kind of moving around a little bit. I think maybe he's playing possum. But uh, anyway, I'm going to continue to make photographs of it because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And when we get done, I'm going to put it outside. And if it's pretending to be dead, maybe it can quit pretending and fly away. Look at him. He is definitely alive. He is alive and kicking. Because Did you see him kick when I picked yeah. him up? Yeah. Well, that is fantastic. I'm so happy that you are both alive and totally chill so it's easy to photograph you. And I can't wait to release you, but I'm going to take a few more pictures because you may be the most beautiful subject that's ever been in this box. This is not our first uh, play dead bug. No. The uh, click beetle did. Mm -hmm. The Japanese beetle did. I think you're alive, aren't you, a little sweet, pretty bug? Here are the photographs of the giant leopard moth. I love how the photographs, especially with the flash, made some of its spots look bright blue. When you're looking at it just normally, all of the spots look dark brown or black. But with the flash on them, they look iridescent bright blue. And I think that's really cool looking. Now the bottom of the bug is white, but the top of the bug under its wings is bright blue, just like those spots. Really beautiful. And I was thrilled to see it. I actually found two of these. This one was on the porch, the front patio, and here it is in Heather's hand. And the other one that I found was about 10 or 12 feet up the wall at work, so I didn't bring it home. And here's another shot of it on Heather's hand, but not in the product studio. It was great to photograph this moth. Well, uh, Heather has gotten the creature to hold on to her finger, and I made some photographs of it in her hand, so I figure she can be the one to release it onto the railing. Come, Mr. Bug. All right, you can quit pretending to oh, no. not be alive now. Hold on, let me help you. I hope as soon as we go inside, he he just flies right off. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Bye, beautiful leopard moth. We enjoyed the photo shoot. Thank you so much. Well, it has been about a half an hour or maybe more since we put the giant leopard moth out here. And of course, now this is exactly how it was behaving when I found it today at work. It was just out there on the patio, on the ground, motionless, and I just scooped it in. I don't know if it's alive or if it's playing dead, but uh, either way, it was great to photograph this little bug. And uh, I think I'm going to bring this video to a close after only three bugs. I got a lot of photos of all three of the bugs in this episode. So thanks for joining us for Bugs From Work Episode 5. And we look forward to starting Episode 6 soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>